I would like to let people know that it's okay to come out. It's okay to let your voice heard. I was warned about him from teammates, uh, you know, saying that, you know, if, if anything happens and you go see the doctor, um, you know, he's going to inappropriately touch you. Uh, and, and uh, you know, that's just what Doc A does. To me, the, the mental part of it, uh, of having to go in there knowing that this doctor was going to touch you inappropriately is what sticks out most in my mind. In my mind, he normalized what he was doing and made you think that that was just a normal part of the procedure. And so why would you tell somebody? This week, the university publicly reached out to anyone with information about the late Dr. Robert E. Anderson, who believes that they were subjected to sexual misconduct during medical exams by him. This follows completion of a police investigation that found significant evidence of abuse. Five of his former patients have recently reported that he committed sexual misconduct during the 1970s until 2002. And we call on the regents to make a public, publicly written statement to this effect um, as soon as possible. The allegations are highly disturbing. On behalf of the university, I apologize to anyone who was harmed by Dr. Anderson. Number two alternative assets commitment. Yes, I ask that the board approve up to a $10 million commitment from the long term venture capital fund that invests primarily in early stage technology companies. Our police investigation found indications that U of M staff members were aware of rumors and allegations of misconduct during Dr. Anderson's medical exams. Institutional accreditation by the Higher Learning Commission. The HLC accredits colleges and universities. To those who reported Dr. Anderson and to anyone who's come forward to report sexual misconduct in any case, I express my sincere gratitude for your courage.